Up next, we're looking at Facebook. Obviously, it's uh, taken over headlines today. The security is down a little, uh, about half a percent. Joining me on set is David Benoit, lead writer for uh, our wonderful Deal Journal blog. Uh, David, uh, Peter Thiel, big uh, famed investor in Facebook, is yeah. cashing out, it looks like. He said, you know what, I've had enough. I'm gone. What, what can you tell me about, yeah. uh, about Peter? Well, so Peter Thiel had, had a pretty good deal here. Uh, he got it in 2004 put in $500,000. So um, we're, it's our mistake that we didn't see this in 2004. Yes. A week would be sitting on a you beach. Have, you might have been signing up for Facebook in 2004, but not giving Best Mark Zuckerberg uh, your money. And so Peter Thiel has essentially cashed out a billion dollars plus this year. Uh, and, and that's 000. over the course of that's, this year? That is uh, the IPO. He sold a whole bunch in that. And now uh, he sold 20 million shares last week after the lockup ended, which you remember caused Facebook shares to fall apart again, uh, follow the new lows as kind of people got all worried about who was selling. What it looks like is Thiel is so far the only one that's filed to say, I sold. So, is, I mean, is that the positive here that, I mean, if you look at all of the big name investors who were in on the ground floor, Thiel's really the only one who said, all right, I'm out, that's enough, I'm, I'm enjoying my huge rewards. And, and is, that, is that a positive that's really only been him? I mean, I, I, think, I think that probably some people are taking some kind of solace in, in that fact. Um, and he's still himself still holds around 7 million shares, so it's not like he sold everything. Um, and, and certainly there was an opportunity last week to sell and some people decided not to. Even people that had been in, you know, like Thiel early and, and are still standing to gain a lot of money even with Facebook off, you know, about half of its IPO price. I mean, and given how much it has, I mean, since it's IPO, the things have, have, have went from yeah. bad to worse. I mean, yeah. do you, do you, is a situation where we are seeing some investors, uh, we'll call bottom fish, they're looking at the decline in the price, they're saying, you know what, if I, if I look at the cover, this is maybe a good time to get in. Are we seeing some of that? Yeah, there's been kind of a lot of chatter about, you know, below $20, does it start getting worth buy? Uh, we saw George Soros and Steve Cohen, a couple of big name investors, take stakes in the second quarter, we found out. Um, when it was still more than 20. Uh, we had a, an analyst upgrade it yesterday. The stock rallied 5% yesterday to close above 20 bucks. Um, so certainly, I think, the, I think there are still very clear divisions on what you think about Facebook. It is either a screaming buy or a screaming sell. And, and I guess the screaming sell is purely a valuation thing. If you look at where Facebook's trading, given they sold a lot more shares than people expected, if you look at the price, if you just look from market capitalization and what their forward earnings are, right. there's a lot of people that you do the math and it just says, I, I don't like it at this level. Is that the argument against? Yeah, I think, I think a lot of people say, I mean, it's still north of $40 billion company. And why? why? I think it's the question. I think, I think the story the entire time, I think, has been, People just aren't sure what to make of this company. And Facebook hasn't cleared up any answers, really. They still, you know, there's a lot of hype about its ability to sell ads on mobile. There's a lot of hype about a lot of stuff. But. And what about, I mean, what about the relationship that could potentially be created between sort of the board and Zuckerberg and, and the people that run this company? Ultimately, a falling stock price is something that they have to, they all are large shareholders in this company that continues to fall. I mean, yep. that's, the risk here is that there's some shakeup to fix um, a market that is saying, you know, know about a lot of things that Facebook does. Right. Well, the, the other thing to keep in mind with Facebook always is that Mark Zuckerberg controls this company. There's really no, whatever he wants is going to happen by both the agreements he has with other shareholders to vote their shares with him, by his substantial ownership, which he isn't selling at all. Um, he's going he's gonna to decide, and, and he's made it very clear that he doesn't necessarily care about being a public company. All right. Well, Zuckerberg's the decider, and yeah. uh, that's the way it is. Well, Dave, yeah. thank you so much for joining us.